everybody, I'm Charlie, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make chocolate chip cookies from scratch. My recipe for chocolate chip cookies calls for either a nice, soft and chewy chocolate chip cookie or a crunchy but a little soft chocolate chip cookie. And what I mean by that is it all depends on how you bake your cookie. My cookies, like what I have right here, these cookies were baked for about 15 to 20 minutes and we're going to give you a demonstration. Um, see it's, the outside is, is a nice uh, golden brown color and on the back it's a nice golden brown color as you can see here. Okay, and I baked these for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes. Now the ones that I actually did on the video, I actually baked those to become crunchy chocolate chip cookies. But I will warn you during the video about how long to bake your cookies. If you want a nice and chewy one, you bake it for about 15 to 20 minutes. If you want a, a, a nice and crunchy one, you bake it longer for about 30 to 35 minutes. Okay? So, without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Okay, this is all what you're going to need to make your chocolate chip cookies. And we're going to get started with our ingredients first. You're going to need gold metal, all-purpose flour. You're going to need salt granulated white sugar, eggs, baking soda, 100% pure vanilla extract, you're going to need brown sugar, chocolate morsels, regular butter at room temperature, and as far as our tools, you're going to need two large mixing bowls, you're going to need a measuring cup as well as your measuring spoons, and you're also going to need a hand mixer. Now if you have a stand mixer, that is perfect. Okay? And there you have it. Okay, here we have two large mixing bowls and we're going to put one on the side for our wet ingredients and we're going to use this one here for our dry ingredients. So, to make our chocolate chip cookies, here I have um, two one-half cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to add that in there. To that we're going to add less than one teaspoon of salt, meaning that it's not full all the way to the top, okay? And we're going to also add one teaspoon of baking soda. And we're going to mix this in. Okay, now that we have our dry ingredients mixed in a small bowl, we're going to go ahead and push that aside and we're going to bring in the large bowl to mix all of our wet ingredients up. Now make sure you have your um, mixer ready. Okay, so in this large bowl, we're going to add two and a half sticks of butter. Make sure your butter is uh, at room temperature, okay? Add that right on in. And to that, we're going to add one cup of white sugar, granulated white sugar. And to that, we're going to add one cup of brown sugar. Okay. And I'm going to just mix this in slightly so that we will be able to mix it. So I made a little mess just now. So we just want to mix this slightly. Be careful when you're mixing so you won't make a mess. Okay, and next what we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, hand mixer here and we're going to blend it until it's creamy. Okay, now it's time to add a little bit of flavor. Here I have one tablespoon of 100% pure vanilla extract. I'm going to go ahead and add that in there. And we're going to mix it some more. Just for about a minute or two. Okay. Now, next what we're going to do is we're going to add two large eggs. Now we're going to add them one at a time. We're going to add one 
then mix, then add the second and mix. Now this is the first egg that we're adding in. And we're going to mix that in. Okay, now it's time to add egg number two. Second egg. And now we're going to mix this until it's well blended for about one, one minute. Okay. Now I want to let you know that if your mixture does appear, appear to be a little crude, that's fine because once you add your dry ingredients in, it'll all blend in together smoothly okay so now we're going to add our dry ingredients in so here I have my uh, flour mixture from earlier that we mixed together and we're going to add a little bit in at a time just going to add a little bit in and we're going to mix and then we're going to add a little bit more then mix again now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off slowly with the hand mixer, just mix it around and then turn it on. Okay, and we're going to add the last little bit. Okay, and we're just going to fold that in just a little bit before we do any mixing. Now we mix. We're going to do it very much salt and chicken. Okay. Okay. Now I want to give you a quick warning. If your batter, if your cookie dough turns out to be a little bit too thin or runny, uh, you can add one third to about one half cup of flour okay so you batter to thicken it okay but first you're going to add the one third cup and if it still doesn't suit your desire you add the half a cup of flour into here okay okay now that we have our flour our batter mixed in we're going to go, go ahead and add two cups of semi-sweet chocolate morsels okay Dump that right on in there. And instead of mixing it with a mixer, we're just going to fold this in. We're just going to lightly fold it in. Now, two cups is basically the entire bag. <laughs> okay, our chocolate chip cookie dough is finished. As you can see, it's nice. It's thick. And if you want it a little bit more thick or to get it to harden, you can put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Okay? Not in the freezer. In the fridge for about 30 minutes to get it a little bit more uh, thick. Okay? But here it is. And we're going to proceed to the next step, which is we're going to take them and we're going to put them on our baking pan that I have right back here. Preheat your oven to 380 degrees. Okay, here I have my two pans. I have this round pan, which is actually a pizza pan, but uh, this is very similar to a uh, cookie baking pan. Okay, and over here I have my 13 by 9 inch pan, which I'm going to bake some extra cookies in. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and use this one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little uh, dab of vegetable oil a little bit and we're going to take a little uh, napkin and we're just going to rub that around our pan so that we would cook, put our cookies on top and bake and we're going to do it to my 13 by 9 inch pan as well okay Okay, now it's time to put our uh, cookies in the pan so we can bake them. 
okay now here I have a uh, ice cream scoop I wish I had the one where you, you take and you press the little nozzle and it just scrapes off the bottom and the cookie falls right through but instead I have to use an extra spoon to get it out okay so since we're making big cookies we're not going to put too many in our pan okay take a nice little chunk and we're just going to add it right on in Okay, here we have our six cookies into our baking pan. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is we're just going to smash that down a little bit. I'm sorry y'all, my shaping is a little horrible, but I don't have a perfect ice cream scooper, so hey. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put these in the oven. Hey, before we begin to bake our chocolate chip cookies, let me remind you that if you want a more softer and chewier chocolate chip cookie you are going to bake your cookies between 10 to 15 minutes on 380 degrees now if you want a more crunchier chocolate chip cookie you're going to bake it for 30 minutes okay okay now our cookies are ready to go in the oven I want to let you know that you can take these cookies you can put them in the freezer and freeze them until wherever you're ready to bake them and that's it okay so now we're gonna go ahead and put them in the oven okay now we're gonna bake our chocolate chip cookies in a preheated 380 degree oven for about 30 to 35 minutes and we're gonna place them on the bottom rack Okay, now that our chocolate chip cookies are done, now it's time to take them out of the oven after baking on 380 for 30 minutes. Okay, now that our chocolate chip cookies are done, we're going to let these cool for about 40 minutes, okay? Okay, we've been letting our chocolate chip cookies um, cool off for about 40 minutes. Now it's time to take a bite. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. Ooh. Now it's time to take a bite. Oh my God, look at that. Wait and see how this tastes. Mm. It's good. It's nice. It's a little crunchy. Very good. I have that nice punch to it, but in the inside, it's a little chewy. It's very good. But there you have it, chocolate chip cookies. Good. Try it out. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like up, subscribe to my channel so you can enjoy all of my delicious recipes cooked right here in my kitchen. If you have any questions or comments, please post them or you can email me at charliethecookandrews at gmail.com. Until then, take care and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.